friends, I'm Ava. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so excited to celebrate a very special day with you. It's Easter, and Easter is coming so soon. Yay! That's when we celebrate the amazing miracle that Jesus did for us when he died and came back to life. But guess what? Did you know you can celebrate Jesus every day? It's true. And our big idea today reminds us that we can remember the amazing things Jesus did for us all of the time. Our big idea says, I can remember Jesus every day. Are you ready to say that? Repeat after me. I can remember Jesus every day. Great job. To remember something means to think about it again and again. And we can think about Jesus again and again because He is alive. Let's sing a song called Alive to help us remember that Jesus is alive for us. Let's stand up and sing this song for Jesus. We're gonna sing this song called Alive. It is about how Jesus is alive today. It's not just a story in a book, it is true. So we're gonna sing that right now. It's not just a story, here we go. It's not just a story, He's alive today. The tomb is empty, forever I am changed because of His love. Sing out, because of His great love. Because of His great love. And sing, He took my failures. He took my failures, forgiven all my sin. He is my Savior, and life will never end. Because of His love. Sing out, because of His great love. Because of His great love. Let's sing out the cross. The cross was where Jesus died for all my sin. But on the third day, He would breathe once again. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Sing out, He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. The Savior has risen. Again. I know he's coming, he's coming back again. The Holy Spirit was given as a friend because of his love. Sing out because of his great love. Because of his great love. Let's sing out the cross. The cross was where Jesus died for all my sin. But on the third day he would live. The Savior. Great job singing and dancing, friends. Jesus is alive, and we can remember that by thinking about Jesus and the amazing miracle we celebrate at Easter 
every day. I know a story about how important it is to remember Jesus. It's in a very special book. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible, God's special book for us. It's a book that tells us stories about real people and places from a long time ago. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but today I want you to hear one about the last dinner with Jesus' friends before he was sent to die on the cross. Pay close attention to the things Jesus showed them to help them remember him every day. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, The Last Supper. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. The disciples asked Jesus where he wanted to eat the Passover meal that night. Jesus said, as you go into the city, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Hello. Follow him. At the house he enters, say to the owner, uh, hi. The teacher asks, where is the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? He will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should prepare our meal. The disciples found everything to be just as Jesus had said. Later that evening, Jesus arrived with the 12 disciples. They sat down to eat, and Jesus said that he was happy to be with everyone. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. He said, take it, for this is my body, which is given for you. Jesus told them to do this to help remember him. Then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. And he said to his disciples, This is my blood. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Jesus said, One of you eating with me here will betray me. He told them that things were supposed to happen this way, but that great sadness would await the one who betrays him. The disciples were very upset and asked, Am I the one? Who is he talking about? Judas asked Jesus, Am I the one? And Jesus said, You have said it. One of the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, who is it? Jesus said it was the one who he would give the bread to. He gave the bread to Judas, and Jesus said, Hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant, so Judas left at once to betray Jesus. Then Jesus comforted and encouraged the disciples. He promised them that they would have a helper come when Jesus was gone. They all sang a song to God together. I love that story. Jesus wanted his disciples to remember him. So he showed them that they could eat bread and drink wine to remember his body and his blood. Sometimes people in church will remember Jesus this way too. It's called communion. They'll have bread and wine or grape juice to remember that Jesus died for us and the amazing miracle of when he came back to life. When we think about Jesus like this or with the yummy food we eat, we can remember that He is God and that He loves us no matter what. There is a verse in the Bible that will tell us all about how much God loves us and why we celebrate Jesus at Easter. But, oh no, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop all the bubbles. Okay, I'm 
everybody! It's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait! That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them out of sight! That's it! All right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone! And look! We can see our Bible verse now. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Wow! That Bible verse tells us that God loves us so much that we can be in God's family when we believe in Jesus. He did an amazing miracle by dying for us and coming back to life. That's a great verse for us to remember every day. One good way to remember things is to say them over and over again. So let's say that verse again by singing it out together. Let's stand up and sing John 3.16. This song is John 3.16. It's about how God sent His one and only Son, Jesus, to save us from our sins. You guys, we're gonna sing about that right now, all together. Let's go like this. that song. Great job, friends! We can think about that Bible verse again and again as a way to help us to remember and believe in Jesus this Easter. I know some friends who want to help us learn more about how we can remember Jesus. It's Jim and Gip. And this week, they have a fun game for all of us to play with one of our Scuppet friends. You'll have to watch and see who it is. So put on your listening ears, your thinking caps, and get ready for Game On! Hi friends! I'm Jim. And I'm Gift. And this is Game On! Every show we will have a new challenge for you to complete with one of our Scuppet friends. So are you ready to play a game? I know I am! All of our games are going to help us remember Jesus. Today's game is about remembering because our big idea is I can remember Jesus every day. 
Repeat that after me. I can. I can. Remember Jesus. Remember Jesus. Every day. Every day. Sometimes it can be hard to remember, so it's good for us to have things that help us to remember. In our Bible story, Jesus gave his disciples something to remember him by. He gave them bread to remember his body and wine to remember his blood. Both of these things remind us of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us when he died on the cross. Jesus told his followers to eat the bread and drink the wine to remember him. Today, we call that communion. People who believe in Jesus eat bread and drink wine or grape juice to remember Jesus' sacrifice for us. We can remember Jesus every day when we are on a walk or playing on a playground. We can remember Jesus and how God made everything we see. When we are eating food, we can stop and pray before to remember Jesus and the good things he does for us. Now it's time for us to play a game to help us think about the word remember. And we need to pick a scuppet to play with us. So let's open up an egg to see who will be playing with us. It's Izzy! She is going to play a memory game with us. So let's stretch to get ready and remember a few things about Jesus. Stand up and stretch high. Remember that Jesus is God. Now reach your arms out wide and remember that Jesus died for us and was alive again on Easter. Stretch your arms across your chest to remember that Jesus is the way for you to be in God's family. Now touch your toes and remember that Jesus is the Son of God. Finally, give yourself a big hug and remember that Jesus loves you too, no matter what. Now we are ready to play Game, Game on. on! Hi friends, are you ready to follow me? I'm going to do a move and you will have to remember it and repeat it. There are four moves, right hand, left hand, right stomp, left stomp, let's try! Right hand! Left hand! Right stomp! Let's stomp! Good! Now let's try two moves! I'll do the two moves then you have to remember! Right stomp! Left stomp! Your turn! Right hand! Left hand! Nice job, friends. That was a lot to remember, especially this one. Yeah, but we remembered. And remembering is really important when we are talking about Jesus. Jesus wants us to remember him. So let's remember our big idea by saying it one more time. I can remember Jesus every day. Ready? One, two, Three. I, I can, can remember, remember Jesus, Jesus every day. Jesus loves you and we do too. We'll see you next time for Game, Game On. Bye. Bye. Wow, that game was so fun. Great job remembering all of the moves. 
That game reminded us that it's so important to remember things. And the most important thing we can remember is Jesus. We can remember Him every day when we do things like sing songs about Him, draw pictures of Him, or watch and read stories about Him. Let's spend time talking to Jesus right now. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, and join them together for a quiet prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for the amazing miracle you did for us so that we can be in your family. Help us to remember that you are the real reason to celebrate at Easter. Please help us to remember you every day. We never want to forget you. We love you and all God's children said, Amen. Great job, friends. Before we go, I have a question. Do you remember our big idea? Let's say it together one more time. One, two, three. I can remember Jesus every day. You did it. I have had so much fun with you learning all about Jesus today. We'll see you all soon. Bye.